Practice 3.3 In this practice, we are trying to cut a line segment into n equal segments. So for A, we are trying to cut the line segment AB into three equal segments. So what does it mean here? It means that this is a line segment AB. So we try to cut into three equal parts. Okay? And without using a ruler, measure the length of this AB and then divide by three and then we cut like this. No. So for this practice here, we are trying to use the geometrical constructions to cut this line segment AB into three equal parts. How? So now, I demonstrate. So first of all, what we have to do is, so from this point A here, I just simply draw a straight line. Okay. Now what am I going to do next is, so at this point A here, so I just use my compass, any line will do, okay? So you just put here and then you cut one and then two and then three. So all this, they are equal in length. So now what am I going to do next is, so from B here, so I try to draw the line so that you can see it clearly. So now, I'm going to measure the length of this. Okay. So from the last point here, and then I measure the length to the A by using compass. Okay, then I move over to B here. And then I make an up. Okay, then after that, I put a B here. I measure the length of this. Okay. So I measure this length. Okay, then after that, I move over A here. Then I cut. Then I join B to the point of intersections that I made just now. So what you can see here, if I join this, so you can see clearly A to the point of intersections also. So what you can see is I have constructed a parallel logram where this side and this side equal in length, this side and this side, they are equal in length. So this is a parallel logram. By the marking of this, so, I measure the length again by using compass. So this is the line segment that we make this now. So what am I going to do is, start from this point B, so I try to cut the line, one, and then move over here, two, you should reach the last point, three. So same. Okay, now. So what you can see here. So these are three parallel logarithms that they are exactly the same. So what does it mean here? It means that this line segment, this line segment, and this line segment, they are equal in length. So here, so I make the marking. You can see that? So now for B, cut the line segment of PQ into five equal segments. So. It's using the same concept. Now I give you a few minutes, you try. So 
Have you done? So now let's look at this. So now what am I going to do here is this PQ. So I want to cut this PQ into five equal segments. So what am I going to do here is same thing. I just simply draw a line from P. Okay, then what next? So at point P here, so you just adjust your compass, any line will do. So I just cut. I need five, uh, five line segments, so I just cut five times. So which means one, two, three, four, five. So do you see this? Five line segments. Okay then. What am I going to do next? So, at this point here, I measure the distance from A, uh, from P, sorry. Okay, then I draw it up at this point Q here. Then next, at this point Q, I measure the distance here. By using compass. So this is the length. So now I move over P here and then I cut. So here I get a point of intersections. So I just join the line. So here I get a parallel logram. So now, what am I going to do next so that I can cut this PQ into five equal segments? So I measure this distance. So I put that Q here, then I start cutting the line. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then I just join the lines. Okay, so what you can see here is here we have five parallel logram that are exactly the same. So which means the line segment here has been cut into five equal parts. So here First line segment, second, third, fourth, fifth. They are all the same. So this is a technique that we use to cut a line segment into n equal parts without using ruler to measure and then using calculations.